been shut down. News 8's Annie Rourke is now at the scene live this morning with details. Good morning, Annie. Good morning, Chris and Kristen. A very bad accident here on Christian Street in Wallingford. Police are still on the scene. I want to show you these evidence markers. This is number one. This is where the car first went off the road, but the evidence markers go all the way down the street here. Police say the car was totally out of control, veered off the street, hit the curb, went up on the grass, hit the pole, spun around, and then went into some trees. You can see there over to the left a little bit, that's actually a piece of the wheel that is still in the road here. Now we're going to show you some video that we shot earlier this morning. It happened around 1.15. Now the car is a yellow Ford Mustang, and as you can see, just badly mangled. There were four people in the car. All of them were men in their early 20s. Police believe that they were just flying down this road. Again, they hit the pole, spun 180 degrees around, and then went backwards into the tree. And police say this is actually quite a large accident scene. Yeah, anytime they have a serious crash, they call out our, our traffic reconstruction team. Um, we're here. The entire scene is about 400 feet long. Um, it's a very long scene. So right now we're collecting uh, evidence, taking phot photographs, documenting the scene, and, and going through our procedure. Uh, we did have an officer at the hospital speaking to or trying to speak to some of the occupants. So we're still waiting on an update as far as their condition. Again, police are still out here on the scene combing through this evidence. Now, we are told three of the passengers were in pretty bad shape. One of them was actually unresponsive when they got here, but three of them were taken in serious condition. One was just a little bit better, but all four of them were transported to Yale New Haven Hospital. And again, we are waiting word on their condition at this point. Police believe that speed obviously was a factor in this crash. They are all also looking at if the driver was intoxicated. Live in Wallingford, I'm Annie Rourke, News 8.